Jeremy's goes exes, right. sending him goes Texas. I bet before they left, he got to get him some ghost. Okay, let's go. Four other brothers, but season four's coming on. Ashley, be chop it up about what's going on. Devin is eight from me, trying to kill OGs. Tyler, hybrid side, Caroline turns 18. Here comes season four, someone bolt the door. Get the diary out, it's time for fan meeting now. Woo! No one's pissed, you had to drop a human blood. Since I'm not trying to drive away now from my great Hello. Welcome to the Vampiti Diaries, a The Vampire Diaries podcast where a guy is watching the series for the first time with a super fan who has seen every episode. I'm the titular PD. Let's just say I put the PD in Vampiti. But please call me Pete, and I'm here with my co host and co parent, Ash. Hello, Ash. Hello, Pete. Ash, many things to talk about. Oh, okay. All right, first of all, not vampire. Diaries related, but podcast related. Mm-hmm. I don't think I mentioned this on the show. Oh yeah, I think I know. I know what you're talking about. I don't know. I won uh-huh. a rap contest, and listeners to this podcast will not be surprised, <laughs> right? <laughs> since I do the, you do the theme song. songs, and they've gotten progressively more ambitious. I would say I don't. <laughs> I don't have to say they've gotten really good and great and better. <laughs> But they've gotten more ambitious each time. Yeah, I love them all, but yeah, I see what you mean. But that gave me, if not the confidence, the Mm know-how to uh, enter a rap contest on the podcast. Mm -hmm. Totally beverages and sometimes hot sauce. I was a guest on that podcast in 2015. Oh, wow. And... uh, It's a beverage podcast. We discussed Yerba Mate, (laughs) which I'm still a big fan of. Yeah, you are. But yeah, I would say uh, go over there, listen to... It's probably two or three episodes back. The episode is called like Charman because it was a sometimes hot sauce episode and they tasted some Charman (laughs) hot sauce. Okay. Um, And I have a wrap on there. Yeah, you have two, actually. Two wraps, yeah. Both beverage-related. Rela- One holiday-related, which, hey, the title of this episode of The Vampire Diaries, here, here's the tie-in. Mm-hmm. It's holiday-related. It is, yeah. But, yeah, go check that out. I am now a rap contest winner. I totally forgot about that. That was so fun when we figured out about it. Have you been in contact with them since you won? Yeah, I uh, I don't know if the prize is in the mail yet or okay. what's going on, but yeah. Cool. Yeah. No, the wraps are great. They're really silly and specific to that podcast. And yes, uh, you should check it out. It was it was a referential referential bars. Yes. Or I might jiggle the microphone. I have to move my leg. Okay. <laughs> no leg moving allowed <laughs> on this podcast. Ash, another thing. What's that? <clears throat> we are sipping Brothers Bond. We are. Like the titular brothers. Except that we are husband and wife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spouses Bond. I'm glad we're not brothers. Yep. That makes things a little bit weird. Yeah, but we uh, we got a we got a bottle for Xmas. We cracked it open tonight for the podcast recording. And we haven't had one in a while, and. It's good. I'm happy to have it again. It's good. It's exciting. Ash, I looked on the old eBay. Oh, uh uh-huh. People are selling... Uncle eBay? (laughs) I looked on Uncle eBay's website, (laughs) and um, they have empty bottles for sale, which we're definitely selling this empty bottle (laughs) when when it's done, and they don't go for much. But still, you make a little money back. Yeah. But signed bottles, Ash. Uh Uh-huh. They go for a couple... uh, Tell me. Vampire tears. How many? I mean, you can get like 100, 150 bucks for these signed bottles. We have two of them. We have two. You know, we're not... uh, I'm going to keep them, though. Yeah, we're not... We're not having a fire sale yet. But no. <laughs> At least we know what to do if we get real tight over here. <laughs> yeah. No. So far, we're chilling. 
but we have a sign by both both bros. Yeah. And Ash. That was a fun day when I was on their Instagram and you were like already out shopping. Yeah. Doing errands or whatever. And I'm like, you need to go to Beverages and More right now and go get these signed bottles. Yeah. And it was you exciting. did. And you brought it home. I went to two. <clears throat> and we probably talked about this and the, the real ones will know, but. Yeah. Um, I went to like a totally wine or something. And there was a big... Totally wine. (laughs) Totally wine and sometimes beverages. Got a little something in my throat. Um, And there was a big cardboard cutout Mm -hmm. of the bros. Yeah. And I was like, what do y'all do with this when it's... (laughs) Yeah, can we have it? Yeah. And um, they wouldn't let me have it. No. They were like, we like destroy these when... (laughs) They should... Speaking of selling things, they should sell those. For sure. I mean, I'm sure... They're not supposed to, based on the the stores, whatever. I bet you the workers just take them. Probably, probably. There's probably like the manager has a um, <laughs> other rock, <laughs> Tivana or whatever his tequila is, and he has an aviator gin Ryan Reynolds in there. <laughs> oh yeah. I bet they. I bet that manager has all the. He's got a weird basement full. All the hunks, yeah. Cardboard cutout guys. And he does like a Home Alone scenario <laughs> where they're rocking around the Christmas tree. There you go. Um, Ash, here's another. This probably won't be a new segment of our show, but I am now going to do a reels. I'm going to record a reels <laughs> right now. Okay. And so if you're listening to this podcast, go to the. High Dive Publishing. Hold on. I'm going to say this in the reels. Okay. Oh, okay. What it's, do I do? You just sit there. It's, I'm just going to be like videoing stuff. Okay. I, okay. Just, I just took a shower and I look plain. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. Plain, plain attractive. <laughs> All right. So. Yeah, hit me with the filter maybe. We'll see. Okay. I'll put like a... Um, I don't even know enough about the... I'm new You're to the... You're new to reels. I'm new to the reels game, but okay. Okay. So... I am recording a Reels. Go to the Vampiti Diaries podcast. Listen. There's co-host Ash. She's cute. She said she didn't want to be in this. <laughs> um, we're sipping Brothers Bond. And this will be on the podcast. You can both see this video and you can listen to the podcast wherever you listen to the podcast. Apple, whatever. I don't know. Wow. Libsyn. Spotify. <laughs> we got a... Um, Oh, Brothers Bond is the bros. What's the name? Paul Wesley? Mm-hmm. Ian Summerhalder? Yeah. They have a delicious whiskey. Check it out. It's I'm having it too. straight. Ash is having a... And the little a ginger ale. A ginger and bros. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. And this was a reels. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll put that up on the... Uh, At High Dive Publishing. Instagram. Reels. Boom. All right. That'll get ones of views. (laughs) Single amounts. Yeah. No, maybe maybe a couple dozen. No, that would be... Yeah, people should check it out. I mean, I want to see it. Um, You don't have Final Cut on that. (laughs) I'm the EP of that Reels. All right. Ash. He's coming at you with all kinds of things today. Multimedia, new year, new media. New Pete. New Pete. <laughs> new haircut. Yeah, you got a new haircut. <laughs> I didn't even show me. Oh, why not? What the heck? All right, the next reel. Next one, I'll hold it and show you. All right. That'll be for the, yeah, that'll be um, a treat for the next audio listener. These, Ooh, these Stay audi- tuned for these handsome Pete. These audio listeners are like... Ah, now I got to go see the reels. <laughs> so you just don't understand marketing like I do. Oh, okay. That's right. it. Mm-hmm. Watch out for my spin drift. How many cups you got over here? Three? I have a Brothers Bond. I have a little nip of Brothers Bond because I want to save it. Mm-hmm. I have a little teacher scotch. Yeah, that's cute. And I have a little um, iced tea. Spindrift, which I feel like that's a uh, 
that's a not that popular flavor, but it's the goat. And I dropped these all on the garage floor the other day, and I'm glad that it didn't explode on you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. See the it, it only ke- dent. It only keeps that sort of thing for like 30 seconds. Yeah, I know. But Ash, this is not a beverage podcast. No, or an Instagram Reels podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the Reels, Ash. We talk about the Vampire Diaries. Yes, 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 yes. And tonight, specifically, we're talking about Season 4, Episode 9, O Come, All Ye Faithful. Mm -hmm. Which, man, if we lined it up a little better... I know. Christmas episode. We were just a little bit behind. Well, that's okay. In the title card of this, did you notice, or maybe you didn't because you were typing, instead of a blood... A drip, it was a snowflake. No, I did not. Oh. Oh my gosh. See? (laughs) What the heck? We Um, can always look at it again. I was going to say that they don't explicitly do too much Christmas stuff. The party is a winter wonderland thing, and we're still in winter, Mm -hmm. so... Yeah, it's still okay. All right. Winter... I know I'm actually really hoping for snow tonight, right now. Yep. Please. If you're listening to this, get in your time machine, pray for snow. (laughs) All right, cold open, patented uh, segment. Elena is waking up in Damon's bed. Mm Mm-hmm. It's too light in there, Ash. What time are they waking up? I I was thrown by the bed being in the corner of the room, like catty corner, to who puts a bed in a corner? It's very strange. Some fancy vampire with a nice bathroom. (laughs) I don't think I would call Damon (laughs) fancy, but he does have a nice bathroom. (laughs) Um, It would be more fun if we were naked. It would right now, me and you. (laughs) (laughs) Damon. Says Damon. Says Damon. Damon should have made her leave, he says. They do exposition about the siren and the blah, blah, blah. And the blah, blah, blah. (laughs) <laughs> you know I know that you're sired mm-hmm. Great lines like that are happening <laughs> Also, okay, they have daylight rings, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah But they're like really rubbing it in how light this room is they're Like, <laughs> we have daylight rooms for vampires <laughs> prancing about <laughs> We have all the sunlight in here Ash says the bed position is weird in the room Yeah Caddy corner is that not right? Uh, catty corner? I don't know. I don't know. That's a, My mom says weird stuff, like she makes up words and phrases sometimes. Mm-hmm. So it could be completely make-believe, but it's what she says. <laughs> catty corner. No, uh, weirdly enough, on today's Doughboys Double, uh-huh. another podcast chat <laughs> moment, they did a, um, hey, they did a dialect quiz mm-hmm. with... Um, my former sketch teacher, oh. Alan McLeod. Oh, nice. But anyway, there was one question about like catty corner, kitty corner, just diagonal. One of them was, I mean, in this same line, mm-hmm. one was like scroopty doodle or something. Like <laughs> one was so weird. It was like across the way, catty corner, kitty corner, scroopty doo. Like you literally heard this today about catty corner, and then I'm saying it. Mm-hmm. Pete and his happenstances. Yep. <clears throat> Go to at the happenstances <laughs> series on Instagram. But anyway, yeah, like diagonal. Weird position bed. Yeah. Is anyone following this? Who, what? <laughs> the listener. Yeah. I'm throwing a lot out there right now. I think so. Okay, great. <clears throat> <clears throat> Who, what? Who? It's me and you. <laughs> oh, yeah. We just do this for ourselves. <laughs> um, Damon told Stefan... He would set Elena free. You're right. And Stefan was like, I know he'll do the right thing. He did that last episode. He didn't. (laughs) Elena's telling Damon to tell her to do stuff. Elena? Sire me, sire me. Oh, that's a weird one. Yeah, isn't Elena like, tell me to leave then or whatever? Yeah, yeah. Then say it. They keep saying that. They Mm -hmm. say that at the beginning of the episode and the end. Then if he's mean it, then say it, then do it. The cell phone rings. Elena, I guess it's Elena's cell phone. She has to meet Bonnie. She's teaching Jeremy how not to kill me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I can't hook up right now. I got to go practice with my brother so he doesn't kill me because I'm mm-hmm. a vampire and he's a hunter. 
<laughs> Complicated. Mm, Elena invites Damon. Oh, I thought I actually liked that moment. She was like getting all ready, and then she's like, "Do you want to come?" Mm-hmm. And uh, he he does. I thought that was like actually like a normal, cute, innocent thing to do, mm-hmm. not like a weird vampire evil thing. Can you even believe she's a vampire? Right. These, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> these writers out here, Ash. All right, Klaus is painting. Stefan walks in. Mm-hmm. Stefan darkens his doorway. <laughs> uh, 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 Klaus's painting is a donation to the Winter Wonderland charity event. Take this to the grill immediately, he tells Ian or whoever <laughs> is named the hybrid. Yeah, the, I don't remember the hybrid's names. Of course the Winter Wonderland charity <laughs> event is at the grill, Ash. Of course. And I guess it's kind of in the square. Yeah, like outside of the grill. What yeah. do you think about this uh, painting? Mm, I don't even remember. Oh, it's like a snowflake or something? It's like a snowflake with like black painted on top of it. You know, <laughs> the only painting in my brain right now is uh, Buddies from um, Severance. Oh. I'm just picturing Klaus painting the severance. I think when we watched this, I was like, what if it was the severance painting? Mm-hmm. That's what I'm thinking about yeah. right now. No, it's just a snowflake painting with like black on top. It looks really bad. And also it's wet. And then he hands it to the hybrid. He's like, take this immediately. Mm-hmm. But then he does say, be careful, it's wet. I'm like, oh, okay, good. <laughs> uh, and he's like. This is foreshadowing for season two <laughs> of Severance. Oh, I was like, huh? Of season two of Severance. There's going to be... But there is so much snow in Severance, too. What? It's always snowy outside. It's oh, in. there's so much snow. I thought you said there's so much to know, which, yeah, there is well, so much that. to know. Okay. Ash... There's a, like, Abraham Lincoln freeing the slaves moment where... Mm-hmm. Where Stefan's like, Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves, which was confusing. I know, me. but I explained it to you like eight times. If he's just saying that the he shouldn't have hybrids as his slaves because there are no more slaves. Mm. He's like, hey, slaves are done, remember? Yeah. Abraham Lincoln, like our friend who we knew because yeah. we've been alive for a long time. Remember he's, Abe? <laughs> yeah. We called him Stretch. <laughs> he's like... Remember, slaves no more. Klaus. Klaus intuited that Elena was sired to Damon. Right, he did, and then he like hinted at it. Yeah, he hinted at it to uh, Caroline, and that's how she was able to figure it out when she was talking with Stefan. Is because like mm. Klaus subliminally, subliminally mm-hmm. put that thought into Caroline's brain. Mm. He knew. He knew all along. Yeah, he's he's been around the block. The sired block. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's been around the sired block. <laughs> Stefan says Klaus is painting postmodern snowflakes, which Ash, I know a few of those. <laughs> 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 Millennials. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh my gosh. All right, Klaus got the hunter's sword from Italy. Mm-hmm. They do exposition about Jeremy and the hunting and the mark and the hunter's mark and his sick tat. Yeah. Stefan says that Klaus is lying about the sword, which I agree. We haven't seen that sword, but then later we do. Yeah, we do. We see it, but we saw Klaus in the like excavation zone. He was mm-hmm. digging it up. But you're right, we haven't seen him with it since he's come home. Like, he flew home and he was, like, all mad at Stefan and all this stuff, but they never showed the sword until today. Do you think that sword was a carry-on? No. I can't even bring my bottle opener. I can't even bring my bottle opener on the plane. He's got a whole sword. I know, up, right? Up in first class, probably. No, he had to check that. Too big. Too big to fit in the overhead bins. Ash, one time we were flying... And it was like four in the morning because that's how we would roll and take mm-hmm. the kids and blah, blah, blah. I was terrible. Dog in a, <laughs> in a bag. <laughs> yeah. And there was like this young couple who was trying to get seafood. Oh. Did you see any of that? They were trying to get seafood from L.A. to who knows where. 
I do not remember that. And they were like taking it out. I was like, man, they are, they're trying it. That's, you're doing too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that, guys. No. Um, bring a sword instead. <laughs> And then Klaus has the sword, I guess. Mm-hmm. And uh, Klaus clowns on Stefan for moving out of his own house. Yeah. Stefan says, I'm not here to bond like a brother. <laughs> I know. Um, Klaus is still always trying to be buddies with Stefan. Stefan can't have it because he made him go uh, ripper. Riptastic. Mm-hmm. Adrian... <laughs> A.K.A. Ian, Adrian, oh, right. and Haley, and oh, we have the most delightful um, dishwasher. dishwasher little theme song when it ends. It's not the LG uh, Harry Potter. It's not the LG. Uh, what are they? Clothes dryer. Well, yeah. That sounds like Harry Potter. Mm-hmm. That plays a whole like theme. <laughs> this is. This one is. Do, 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 do. No, we have the oldest washer and dryer that goes. goes no, I'm talking about our washer. I know. Oh yeah. I know, but like <laughs> both of our parents have like the Harry Potter clothes washer and dryer, but our dishwasher does a little key thing. It sounds like a little piccolo, like. <laughs> sounds like uh, one of the instruments that one of the originals would have played <laughs> back in the day when they had long hair. Probably. Trying to tie it all into yeah. Vampire Diaries. All right. <clears throat> and the other girl found a witch <laughs> that will save their lives. <laughs> These hybrids found a witch, which we find out that's a lie. Also, you you can probably tell why at this point, at the end of this episode, why I didn't care to ever learn the hybrids' names. Mm, spoilers. Mid-show spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> the hybrids broke the sire bond. Right. With Tyler's help. <laughs> Fake snow, winter wonderland in the quad. <laughs> in the quad. Mm-hmm. All right, winter wonderland, Ash. Yeah. Excited for that? I mean, it just to me looks like a kind of like a crowd. Like they don't really highlight n- like nice winter wonderland things. It just kind of looks like people walking around. Ideal winter wonderland, what's going on? You got some fake snow, you got a bounce house. Yeah, you have like a. I went to a Winter Wonderland thing outside one time in LA, and they had fake snow that they turned oh, yeah. into like where you could sled down. Yeah. I don't know, hot chocolate bar or like. Mm hmm. Uh, fire pit. Ooh. S'mores, that kind of stuff. Face painting. Not just like just people standing around. Mm. You gotta have Santa. Yeah, that would be a good gig. As a extra, as a background actor, to be at a Winter Wonderland. Uh, oh, hey, you, you, you five, you're you're sipping hot chocolate. You're laughing. You're having fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. I would be a great second day D or whoever <laughs> is in charge of those people. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> in another life. <laughs> uh. This is where Ty tells Caroline that he's going to get Klaus to jump into his body <laughs> and then be buried in concrete. Yeah. Did you think they were this plan was going to happen when they said it? Isn't it so bad sounding? <laughs> I said sounds like Han Solo. Oh, yeah. And Carbonite. That's true. But Han Solo didn't want to be in Carbonite. No. And in fact, he's in Carbonite like... <sighs> Yeah, like, ah, I don't want to be in here. <laughs> Which I pro- I don't know if I've said this on the podcast, but growing up, I had The Empire Strikes Back on VHS, but not the other two movies that were mm-hmm. out at the time. So I was very confused <laughs> about <laughs> Star Wars. I was just like... Is uh, that the middle one? That's the middle one. Uh-huh. So I was just like... I don't know. He's at the swamp with Yoda. Who is this guy? Why is this other guy frozen? Yeah, that would be confusing. He gets unfrozen, and then a lady's automatically kissing him. (laughs) And then I was like... That's how it works. You get unfrozen, and then you get an automatic kiss. Well, they should have done that with Ty and Caroline. (laughs) Well... He comes out of the concrete. No concrete for Ty. It's It's just a bad plan, and when he says it, you're like... 
what? Why are you doing that? Yeah, my question was, so Ty is going to be in concrete until the hybrids run away or something? Yeah, like, it's not a good plan. I mean, and I mean, obviously it doesn't come to fruition, but it just sounds stupid. You shouldn't be able to set up a big plan and then not do it. Well, he tried. He wanted to. I'm working on a show right now where, like, everything has to kind of lead into the next thing. You can't just have this whole thing, talk about it in this one part, and then not do it in the other part. (laughs) Tell them. (laughs) (laughs) I wish I could. All right. Jeremy is splitting wood in an athletic shirt. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Stefan and Elena roll up, and Bonnie is there. Prof Shane is there, too. And uh, does someone call him Professor Shady Pants? Yeah, <laughs> Stefan. I mean, um, Damon. Damon. That's funny. <laughs> they need to invite Elena into the log cabin. Right. Even though it's their parents? They're dead. But It belongs to Jeremy. She's like, it's yours now, Jeremy. You need to invite me in. <laughs> I like your impression of her. <laughs> I would watch that show. <laughs> That's like the This is not the Vampire Diaries parody <laughs> He does Jeremy immediately tries to kill her <laughs> Right Stefan gets a call from Caroline He's late to the Winter Wonderland They <laughs> talk about The Hunter's Sword mm-hmm. Stefan is still at Klaus's house Right? <laughs> Troubles of Bruin Mm-hmm The sword decodes Jeremy's tattoo, we notice. Right. Caroline wants the sword. Ty and his hybrids are taking out Klaus tonight. Yeah. He's like, um, or she's like, did Klaus tell you where it is? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, because we're going to kill him tonight, so you better find out now. Yeah. Stefan. Because there's no way we'll find the sword after he's dead. Right. That sounds silly to me. Winter Wonderland. They're playing that song, okay, where the singer is so low-key. <laughs> um, oh, I will do- oh, you know yeah, what I'm talking yeah. about? Hey, humbug. Hum, 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if anyone knows <laughs> what we're talking about. Yeah, it's the Christmas song where it's a lady and she's like, oh my goodness, now this is happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, but it, that sounds so terrible, but that is right. Do, do. I know no <laughs> lyrics from it. <laughs> I don't know the lyrics either. Oh my goodness, Santa's on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do know that they say, Bah humbug. Yeah. Do, 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 do. That's all I remember. Um, yeah, the song is uh, She Bangs. <laughs> um, Klaus knew Charles Dickens, lol. <laughs> Uh, I bet he. I bet that he's who Scrooge was based on. Ash Klaus. Klaus? Yeah. Maybe. Tony Tim, I sucked your blood. That's <laughs> why you're dead. You sound like you said Tony Tim. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is, right? Tony Tim. <laughs> Tony Tim. Tony. All right, we get, we have so many tangents in this one. We gotta like. Nah. This is a long one. I know. There's so it's much. Er- in- it's early. Okay. There's so much in the app. I don't want to uh, leave anything out. Ash, the good thing about this for the listener, you can pause it. <laughs> <laughs> Go get another Brothers Bond. Keep listening. Tell your friends. All right. They talk about. Okay. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I scrolled a lot. Caroline says that Klaus's snowflake painting is lonely. And you know what? A lot of these millennial snowflakes are lonely. <laughs> <laughs> Let's call out more buzzwords. Um, because of gaslighting. <laughs> <laughs> Klaus gets Caroline some champagne, even though she's in high school. Mm-hmm. She, she at first says no, but then she takes it. She texts Stefan on her Samsung. Mm-hmm. And Klaus is like, it's our thing. Because they had champagne together at the um, other party. Mm-hmm. Which, who remembers which one it was? On the lawn, out yeah. on the Lockwood lawn. The Lockwood lawn. Is this our thing? She's like, no, this is not our thing. <laughs> Pug snores in the back. That's not uh, any of our tummies. <laughs> 
Just a cute pug. Yep. Oh, that might be one of our future in pod reels. Oh, oh. listen, listeners, <laughs> if you stay true, <laughs> you might get a pug snore reels. We're going to pu- run out of ideas in like four reels. <laughs> okay, whatever. We're not married to the reels. I mean, I'm fine with it. It's just we, uh, our like routine is very similar each time. Ash, Stefan is in the safe, but the sword isn't there. Damon says, check the sock drawer. <sighs> what do you think he's got in there? Some nice soaps? Yeah. <laughs> Some moon soap. What if his big secret was he had those plastic vampire fangs? <laughs> <laughs> he likes to put them on and be like, I'm a vampire. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> That's funny. He's got him in all different colors. He's got purple and green Mm -hmm. and orange. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Glow in the dark. Damon says, kill Ty. So Ty doesn't put Klaus in the concrete because they're still thinking this concrete thing's a thing. No. Stefan is looking at love letters from Alfonso. (laughs) Yes, which later we are revealed, but it's really weird at first. Um, yeah, it's weird because it's Alfonso Ribeiro. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Because <laughs> how many Alfonsos do you even know? Uh, so many. <laughs> like a hundred at least. <laughs> He's not the most famous that I know. <clears throat> I know Alfonso Morning. <laughs> Just kidding, that's not his name. All right, <laughs> Stefan asks... <laughs> what am I doing here, you guys? This is a good episode <laughs> of our show. You know, when the episode of the show that we watch isn't that great, <laughs> we, make it, we make our show good. I know. <clears throat> also, your haircut looks good. Thank you. And hey, that's not in this reels. <laughs> That'll be in a future one, though. All right. Stefan. Every time Pete says reels, take a shot. <laughs> of Barbicide. No. Brothers Just, Bond. Okay. Stefan asks where <laughs> Elena is. Stefan thinks Damon told Elena to stay away from him last night, but he didn't. Okay, so the, the sire thing. Stefan thinks that Damon kept his word. Right. Well, why would he think that? But he did. But Stefan's just with Elena, and he's lying to... Stefan, I mean, Damon's with Elena and he's lying to Stefan all day. Mm-hmm. All right. Professor Shane has Jeremy strapped up. Mm-hmm. All Jeremy wants to do is kill vampires. Right. <laughs> we know this. Professor Shane says he wants to make that not true. <laughs> I do not like Professor Shane at all. I'm just saying literally what the scene is saying. I'm going to make it not true. Yes. Oh, God. He wants to give him a detour. Oh, oh. This, look, this episode, not the best. I feel like the writing's a little goofy. This is their (laughs) family's vacation house, we learn. Mm Mm-hmm. Which we already knew because Elena's been there before with Stefan. Oh, yeah. And they they found like a weapon Mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. Their family used to go there for the holidays. Okay, is this really Christmas? They're, like, doing this on Christmas? I I don't know that it's Christmas Day, but it's the season of Christmas. Because they're, like, preparing. They're like, oh, we should decorate, too. And at the end, they're having, like, ornaments and stuff. Ah, yes. So it's, like, 22nd. Maybe so. Their family wants them to stick together and fight for each other no matter what. Their family used to go there for the holidays. Did you say that? <laughs> yeah. Jeremy says that Elena ruined our lives. She's not my real sister, and she means nothing to me. I will kill her even if I die. And he says this during, like, Professor Shane trying to, and Bonnie trying to, like, hypnotize him into... <laughs> Not killing vampires, but instead he's just like, no, I'm going to kill her. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of hypno- Yeah, he's kind of in a like altered a state. Yeah. And then he comes out of it and he's like, did it work? <laughs> Everyone's like, uh. That's kind of funny. Yeah. That's Not best, even close. That's one of the better parts. Jeremy. Because he does want, he does love Elena and he really does want to not kill her. But 
his hunter self is taking over. Yeah. I mean, this hunter stuff, I mean, it makes me want to, like, see Connor Jordan pre-hunter. Like, maybe he was a chill dude. Yeah, he was probably really sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Caroline asked Stefan if he found the sword. They need Klaus. Ty. Okay, they need Klaus. Ty has to call off his great plan. This is definitely going to work. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'll just be um, in um, some concrete. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sometimes these people say the funniest stuff. <laughs> Ty so seriously is like... <laughs> I got 12 hybrids sworn to secrecy for a month. <laughs> he says it's so serious. Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, because as soon as Caroline finds out the plan, she immediately tells Stefan, and he's like, uh... Like, what if you came home <laughs> and, like, I was, like, just, uh, like, kind of crumbling about the house, <laughs> and you were like, Pete, what's the matter? You have a bad day at work? Ash, I had tw- 12 hybrids sworn to secrecy for a month. And they all got messed up. And now the beans have been spilled. Yes. I'd be like, man, sounds like a bad day. <laughs> Ty says he's still taking Klaus out. Stefan says, I can't let you. And then the 12 hybrids appear. And that's bad news for vampires. So <clears throat> you need to get out of there. Damon brought Brothers Bond to the vacation house. Nice. Good job. Elena is sitting by the dock of the bay. Yeah, she basically spends most of the episode right here on this dock. <laughs> she shouldn't have wanted to reprogram Jeremy. Why not? Yeah, everyone wants to reprogram their brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I was here, I was in love with Stefan. Is it a memory or is it the sire bond? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's brought both of these bros to this cabin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, what is this? The Olivia Rodrigo song? What's next? Elena's gonna wear a small jacket? <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna share ice cream? Uh huh. The hybrids put Stefan in the uncle basement, <laughs> I believe it is. Mm-hmm. Ty and the hybrids don't want a cure because then they go back to being just werewolves. They like being hybrids, not just werewolves. They like being hybrids as long as they're not sired, because being sired is annoying. But being hybrids, they don't have to turn. Mm-hmm. They can Every just, full moon. They can just turn when they want. Mm-hmm. Ty calls Caroline, Care. Hey, Care. I wanted you on my side. Yeah. Hmm. They want to be hybrids, but not werewolves. Because there's no werewolf cure that we know of. Mm-hmm. There's only a vampire cure and also the Maze Runner, the death cure. Exactly. Which they did cure death. That was a good movie. Cured death. Everyone lived happily ever after. They yeah. ran through the maze really quick and death was cured, <laughs> as I remember it. I liked the first movie of that series, but I don't remember the other one. Jeremy is looking at pics. <laughs> <laughs> Shane wants to try again. Uh, pictures of, like, uh, Christmas's past. Oh, yeah. I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah, it's like weird little Elena dressed in some oversized clothes at a Christmas tree and then little Jeremy doing some. They could have gotten way better pictures for this. Just It's now. real Dobrev and real... Um, Jeremy's name is... Um, it's the same as the, another person's The name. actor from Bullet and also the director of 12 Years a Slave. Two different people. <laughs> <laughs> he has a popular name. There's three famous, well, relatively famous dudes with this name. Yes. No, I can't think of it on the spot. I know his name. The guy from Bullet, the director of 12 Years a Slave... And Jeremy. <clears throat> I'm just going to look it up. Vamp. We know, we know this name. We know this name. It's like uh. the most popular name ever. Yeah. It's like a Beatles name or something. Like it's somebody. Steve McQueen. Yeah, Steve McQueen. There you go. I knew and, it was a and, musician. And like Jeremy's name is like musician? Steve. Musician, right? Steve McQueen? Or No, Steve McQueen is an actor from the movie like Bullet. Uh-huh. Steve, Steve R. McQueen yeah. or whatever. Mm-hmm, Steve mm-hmm. McQueen 
the director directed 12 Years a Slave, and then Steve J. McQueen, or maybe Steve R. McQueen, <laughs> or whatever. Jeremy. His name is Steve McQueen. I think it's R. It's like Michael B. Jordan. It's like right. <laughs> Michael Jordan and Michael B. Jordan. Yeah. Michael They're... C. Jordan, Michael <laughs> D. Jordan, Michael E. Jordan. Michael. That's like you're making an outline of Michael Jordan's. <laughs> uh-huh. Michael Roman numeral two Jordan. I actually really liked making outlines. You know what? It's so satisfying. If you had a good pen, nice notebook. Oh, uh, even, even no, but typing it even. Yeah. Word started taking over. I like outlines. Word was like, I know you want to do a capital B here. No, I'm on to Roman numeral two. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> it would look so lined up and pretty. All right, so Steve McQueen, what were we talking about him? Yeah, Stephen R. McQueen. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know, what did you say? Oh, it's young Steve McQueen and young Doe Brev in these oh, pictures, in the pictures, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. definitely them. All right, Damon says, <clears throat> dangling a vampire in front of a hunter is like a hamburger in front of somebody on the master cleanse which immediately dates this show i know also this little monologue from damon is so silly <laughs> like that's so silly but he keeps going and he's like this is the same one right i don't know when he's like you need to find someone else i wonder who it could be or maybe oh, yeah. that's later yeah warm and fuzzy feelings and jeremy says he has warm and fuzzy feelings about damon <laughs> no bonnie no jeremy says he has warm and fuzzy feelings about damon no he says it about bonnie no he wants to think about the vampire about damon not his sister no. he's he's who they put the detour on well, bonnie's a witch why would he have why would he want to kill a witch? No, he doesn't have warm and fuzzy feelings about Damon. He hates Damon. He wants to kill Damon all the time, even before he's a hunter. He's saying you need to put someone in your mind that helps you detour, someone with warm and fuzzy feelings. And then and then Damon's, like, giving the side eye about Bonnie. And Bonnie, and he's like, I wonder who it would be. And then he's like, looks right at Bonnie. He's like, I, and I do have warm and fuzzy feelings about you. And then later they hug Bonnie and uh, Jeremy. Okay, I missed all of that because I thought that he was putting his detour onto Damon. No, and that and it didn't work. No, he puts the detour in Bonnie, and it does work, and that's why he doesn't kill Elena. Oh, well, I missed all of that, and also I didn't understand any of what was happening. <laughs> that's okay. That's what I'm here for. And uh, sound off in the comments if you know that I'm right and everything's wrong. <laughs> what? Shane and Elena. You lost your mind. Prof Shane and Elena are by... Oh, Master Cleanse. That was like you drink like lemon juice and cayenne pepper and stuff like that, I think. Mm-hmm. That was stupid. People shouldn't have done that. They should have said... And also... It would be funny if he was like, that's like dangling a hamburger in front of somebody on Atkins. It's good. <laughs> right. Because they don't... would think Atkins is good, but it was bad also. Right. I don't do cleanses. <laughs> I do eat cheeseburgers, though. When someone came in doing like a juice cleanse to when I used to work in an office mm-hmm. way back in the, the stone <laughs> ages, um, someone was coming in doing a juice cleanse and my... One of my favorite people, Neil, mm-hmm. was like, I prefer to chew yeah. and totally fry this person. Yeah, yeah, well, I agree. Yeah, I love that for Neil. Um, <clears throat> Shane, Prof Shane, and Elena by the water. They talk about Elena being sire to Damon. Shane says his kid and wife died, Ash. Mm-hmm. So we're supposed to care about him but we don't because he's the worst Mm -hmm. he tried to find a spell to not love them anymore (laughs) because he was hurting so bad damon walks out there hey maybe he could just turn his humanity off because that's what everyone does all the time prof shane is a human yep damon walks out there tell me why i'm not killing you he can tell shane can tell damon where to find the cure 
Shane has been to the cure site. I know. And then Damon's like, oh, I guess I won't kill you because you have this information. And then he tells Stefan that they don't need the sword. But don't they still need the sword? Well, that's what he, that's what he tells him. <clears throat> but don't they need the sword for some reason? The sword is supposed to... Um, tell you what the tattoo, the tattoo says, and the tattoo to to is the tells place. you how to get. Yeah. So Shane's just like, you don't need the sword or the tattoo. Having the sword and the tattoo sounds so much cooler, though. A hundred percent. Like sword and tattoo, or Shane just tells you. Hmm. But they, but Shane is also saying you have to wait until you get the rest of the tattoo, and then I can show you where it is. <laughs> oh, without the sword. Without the sword. Hmm. Because I only have the part of that drawing. Hmm. So, I, I have a know. great but Shane analogy. Shane is a weirdo. <laughs> yeah, Shane's like, I can tell you how to use MapQuest, or if you have the sword, you already have ways. So, <laughs> all right, Mayor and Ty Lockwood, Mayor and Ty Lockwood, mm-hmm. have a toast. They're at the Winter Wonderland. Yeah, because he's telling his mom his genius plan about how he's going to be in concrete. Yeah, he's like, I'm about to be in concrete. And Mayor Lockwood is sad because he'll miss graduation while he's in the concrete. Yeah. Uh, I always imagined you on the stage with your cap and gown, not in concrete. (laughs) I know. It's so silly, but it's also really honest because as a mom, you like... Those are the things you want to see. I want to see you graduate. And she's already knows he's a hybrid werewolf. And she had to come to terms with that. So, like, at least can you graduate one time before you live to infinity or, you know? Yeah. She's like, there are things that I wanted to experience, even though, you know, you're much different than I thought you were. And, and that's a metaphor for not having these expectations about our children's lives. No, in fact, I missed one of our kids' graduations anyways already mm-hmm. with the vid. Yep. It's terrible. Can't have those expectations. Nope. You can't plot out your kid's life. They're going to be their own person, even if they're going to be in concrete. Even but- if these millennial snowflakes <laughs> want to put themselves in concrete... <laughs> Look, it all ties together. I'm not sure that's the exact metaphor, but um, Mayor Lockwood has a good reaction because she does, like, say whatever you need to do. Like, she loves him and she supports him, which that's how you got to do it. Yeah. Pa- parents. <laughs> yep. To my underage son, who's about to put himself in concrete, here's some champagne. And I love you and I believe in you. <laughs> but I'll miss you at graduation. But she should be proud because he's their alpha. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I do not like the word alpha. You know. It doesn't feel good in my mouth. Being in the uh, sort of indie publisher game, mm-hmm. there's so many genres of like these, these books. Mm-hmm. And one of them is like werewolf alphas and their ladies. Oh, really? Yeah, there's like every yeah. <laughs> sub-genre. Wait, hey, don't uh, don't shame these readers. No, I I'm mean, not shaming readers I mean, or I writers, w- but I don't like the word alpha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like I've I've like put an ad out for my book or whatever. It's like, okay, here's this ad for Pete's book. And then right next to it's like, Bryce is the alpha <laughs> in Nottingham or whatever. Yeah, I mean, it's popular. It's a werewolf thing for sure. If you are into werewolves and vampires. There's just a lot of vocabulary in the Vampire Diaries. Diaries. We have, you know, sired and alpha and doppelganger and I'm cetera, sure all that plays into these types of books, too. Yeah. Do what you have to do, Ty. She's trying to channel the former Mayor Lockwood. He'd be proud of you. Yeah. And Tyler gets a little bit emotional about his dad. Even though he, like, really did not like his dad, and I'm pretty sure he called him a dick. <laughs> You're a leader like he was. He was sort of the alpha of the town. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't say that. Okay, son, go get an OG jumped into your body. <laughs> <laughs> and then enjoy that concrete nap. Yep. 
uh, a witch named Silas. This story, we heard this story before. Yeah, this is um, Shane telling about how there's a cure. He's telling this whole story. No more need to feed on blood if you dig up Silas. This is the first time that they've said that because they've talked about a cure, but they haven't really said, like, what that looks like. So he's saying you don't have a need to feed on blood, Mm -hmm. which is really the main thing that they're trying to fix for Elena because they don't want her to have to drink blood or kill people or whatever. Yeah, she can't deal. Mm Mm-hmm. But now she's doing the blood bags and it's doing just fine. Just, it's yep. just, just saying. Caroline and the hybrids and Stefan are together. Stefan takes a call from Damon. I found the answer to your Tyler problem. We don't need the sword. It's Prof Shane. <laughs> Shane looking at the drawing of a hunter's mark tattoo. Shane is holding on to the location of where Silas is buried. That's his... Mm-hmm. His uh, get out of jail free. Saving grace, yeah. Mm -hmm. When Jeremy's hunter's mark is complete, I'll take you to the hunter. So Jeremy has to kill more vampires. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, Ty and Caroline are in a bathroom somewhere. I don't remember them being in a bathroom. Caroline wants to have Klaus jump into Rebecca's body instead of Ty's. I remember this, yeah. Haley texts Shane, we have a problem, because she wanted this thing to happen. Right. This was part of... Because they want to get rid of Ty. Yeah, Tyler's plan is actually really Haley's plan that she's doing on the sly with Professor Sh- Professor Shane. Professor Shane. <laughs> Professor Shane. <laughs> and so when it doesn't go to plan, she's like, oh, no. And Shane is like, fix it. She hits it on the, hits him on the Samsung... <clears throat> Bonnie and Jeremy are making progress. Caroline calls Bonnie. We can put Klaus's essence in Rebecca. But then Haley snaps Caroline's neck. Yeah, because Caroline actually had a good plan. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, not put Tyler in concrete. Let's just put this brother into this sister. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Duh. I said Elena has some weak Christmas decor. Mm. She trusts Shane. Damon doesn't. He thinks he blew up those 12 people. Yeah, he does. He talks about it a lot. Shane is listening. Shane was in contact with Pastor Young before the explosion at the Young Farm. Mm -hmm. Shane tried to help the pastor's depression, but then the pastor took... Innocence. Innocent people. With Innocence. Them. Innocence. Do you believe him? No, I think probably all these 12 people were nuts. <laughs> no, not that they were and, innocent. And guilty as heck. That's not what I'm asking. Do you think that he, that Professor Shane was really trying to help him with his depression? No, I think Pastor Young was probably crazy. <laughs> and all these other 12 people were nuts. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Ash, 12 is an important number. I don't have a Pete Diction for this. But Ash, 12 people (laughs) exploded. Yeah. 12 12, 12 crazies. Hybrids. Mm -hmm. 12 disciples. Mm -hmm. 12 pack of Natty Light. All right, there it is. You heard it here. Uh, So 12 hybrids. Oh, Ash, are you saying... All right, Pastor Young, hold on. I'm saying nothing. <laughs> what are you saying? Did he have 12 hybrids or something and they were trying to do something? I don't know. I don't know enough about it, but here's my prediction. Those 12 exploded people were hybrids. Okay. And uh, hmm, Pastor Young, oh, Pastor Young was like, I'm not letting Shane do something. Am I so close? <laughs> So far, I would never tell. I'm not letting Shane. <laughs> what are they trying to do with the twelve hybrids? Even no, what's Ty want with the twelve hybrids? <laughs> he wants them to be free of Klaus. Mm. What's Haley want? With okay, you don't know yet. Oh damn it! Okay, 
All right, Haley is just the next. There are pa- clues that have been placed. Haley is the next Pastor Young. Oh, and what? What freaking? Some smart person would have. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you have able- to think about what you know about the people okay. that are conspiring together. A witch told Damon to get twelve. Oh, okay. A witch wanted twelve. <laughs> people to die so she was powerful i forget why (laughs) and then shane has a witch and he wants 12 people he wanted 12 people but then pastor young blew them up because pastor young figured something out and then Haley wants 12 people i've I just can't put the pieces together, but this is... You are sort of connecting the dots, but (laughs) you aren't thinking about what you know about Haley and what you know about Professor Shane. And they're the ones that are gathering the 12 hybrids. I don't know anything about... Oh, Professor Shane wants to either not love his kid and wife or probably get them back would be better. (laughs) Oh, and Haley's parents, uh, they're trying to raise the dead. These fools. <laughs> oh, Pastor Young. Okay, but Pastor Young's piece of it is he is he, because he's religious. He's like, no, they need to. These dead people need to stay dead because of religious reasons. They need to stay in their heaven or hell. I can say nothing else, but at least you thought about the people. Now you're welcome. All right. That was an that was an alley oop. <laughs> hmm. I call it a pity oop. <laughs> um, okay, there was yeah. something there. Real, yeah, yeah, yeah. Real heads, no. But don't tell Pete. No one's ever spoiled you, right? No. Okay, good. <laughs> um, that would be so mean. And I still, <clears throat> I'm still not on the explore page because no. people are trying to do edits. People are trying to have Jeremy and this and that. Well, and when you get in the reels. Don't, like, oh, no. start searching. Like, don't, like, scroll to the next after you watch your own and you tag Vampire Diaries or whatever. Because then Heck no. other stuff will pop up. No, no, no. <clears throat> I'm on the I'm on the brink of something. I'm on the brink of... Because this is episode 9. There's going to be a Ep 11 bombshell. Well, this is also, like, the Christmas episode. And usually shows go on hiatus mm. around this time. Mm. So it's, like, a mid-season. Don't I know it. You know, yeah, you know. <laughs> Dealing with that right now. Okay, so what's happening? Jeremy is ready to kill Elena. He hands the steak to Dana, Damon, Dana, <laughs> and hugs <laughs> a layman. <laughs> That's different. <laughs> All right, Winter Wonderland party. Stefan is talking to Klaus. He was looking for the sword. Mm-hmm. Klaus has love letters of victims. So Stefan had his wall where he uh, wrote the names of the people he killed on the wall. In Chicago, so, yeah. I remember that. Yep. And, like, Elena, like, hid up against Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but Klaus has their love letters not from them to him, but from them to their lovers. Yeah, but, like, how lucky that you get to... All the people you killed that had us at Love Letter? I'm guessing that there's probably some that he doesn't have. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> come on. And um, he said that the one that Stefan saw was from Alfonso <laughs> Ribeira to DJ, DJ Jazzy Jeff. I also thought it was Alfonso Ribeira, but is it Ribeira? <laughs> Are you, what is it? I don't know. <laughs> and... It's Alfonso. It's Alfonso with like an F. Who knows? Now you're making me think twice about everything in life. <laughs> Good. That's what this podcast is for. This podcast is to make you ask important questions. Alfonso Ribeiro. Yeah, I think you're right. <clears throat> Phone cheers. Phone cheers. <laughs> Does anyone know what that means? Um. Hey. Klaus is lonely. Snowflake metaphor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. He's like that lonely snowflake he painted. Yeah. And also, he's a millennial who has been gaslighting. <laughs> April Young arrives. Ooh, interesting. 
the, did her dad kill 12 innocents? <laughs> hmm. Finds dead Caroline. Dead Caroline. Bop, bop, bop. And she freaks out because she's friends with Caroline. Yeah. Wait. Is she about to get not compelled or did that happen in a different It's about to okay. happen. <clears throat> All right. Caroline jumps up. Have you seen Haley? You didn't have a pulse. You were dead. April's like, you were dead f- for realsies. <laughs> okay. And um, these, this, this isn't my language. Mm-hmm. This is Caroline's verbiage yes. when she's gaslighting a snowflake. <laughs> and she says, that werewolf slut lost her mind. That's because she's totes gels. And then she tries to compel April. <clears throat> But she doesn't. Yeah, but you didn't catch on at this point. They say it. In, they say it in a little bit when you see Matt. But mm-hmm. they don't. You don't see April's eyeballs. No. Get big and small. <laughs> no. You don't. Dilate or whatever. Matt says Stefan has been looking for her. Matt tells Caroline, Caroline that April yeah. is wearing Jeremy's vervain bracelet. Mm-hmm. So she, she can't, can't be, be compelled. Cajoled. So that means April's just running amok knowing that Caroline was dead and there's a werewolf or hybrid, what'd you call her again? A werewolf slut. Yeah, so she knows about a werewolf and then my friend was dead and now she's not. And then she did some weird thing. <laughs> and sluts she's learning about yeah, for the first geez. time. <laughs> she went to an all girls school before that. I think she might know. <laughs> Watch out now. Ty is on the phone at the Winter Wonderland, sees Haley. There is no witch. Haley set up the 12 hybrids for a sacrifice because she promised someone, Shane, Mm -hmm. for info about her parents. Ah, Haley wants info about (laughs) her parents. Shane wants his kids to not be dead or wife or something. Okay. Klaus is killing the hybrids. Oh, holy night. The Christmas song is playing. Klaus is killing all the hybrids in the woods. Yeah, this is kind of cool, though, don't you think? Yeah. He's ripping out their hearts. He's using the sword. He's Finally, getting his some oh, yeah. sword action. Yeah, he's using the sword, which, whoa. And then it's also like, where did he keep it this whole time? And uh, then- you know what? I saw him walking kind of like with a straight <laughs> leg. I think it was in, in just his, in his pants the whole time. Yeah. And then I also kind of like the juxtaposition of his fancy clothes, like all bloody. Mm. Mm-hmm. Also, when he had the sword in his leg, <laughs> that's not a hilt. <laughs> okay. That's the handle part? Yeah. Kim doesn't know where Ty is. Yeah, Kim is the one who tried to, like, uh, challenge Ty for his... Uh, alpha. <laughs> alpha status? Yeah. So so Klaus kills her. Jeremy and Bonnie and Elena and Damon and Shane <laughs> are looking at Christmas decorations. Yeah. They Elena, need to hit up a Target or something. Well, sometimes those jumps are sold out. It's true. <laughs> I went... A little too late this year to get some decorations. It was barren in there. Yeah, I know. Elena, um, oh, puts mistletoe above her head? Or was it vervain? <laughs> she, said, mistletoe. she said, this is how Aunt Jenna kissed somebody. They were telling a story, but I don't Mm -hmm. remember who they said she kissed. A vampire. They used that. And they shriveled up. They used that (laughs) same uh, mistletoe. Elena knows how. uh, All right, Christmas. What? Elena knows how she feels. Oh, she's saying like she keeps saying the same thing about being sired because Tyler told her that one sentence. She's like, "My feelings are real." Mm. Oh, she knows how she feels. Yeah, I know how I feel. It's real. I love you. Stop fighting it. Christmas was Stefan and Damon's favorite holiday as kids. Mm Mm-hmm. When they used to give Santa a high five when he rode by on a sleigh. (laughs) Because they're so old. Where is this footage is what I want to know. Where is, like, little teeny tiny Stefan and Damon at Christmas? 
frolicking yeah. in, like, the, the lawn, the grass. Yeah, like when they're, like, eight or nine or, I don't know, long, five. Long hair, don't care. It'd be so cute. Stefan will be mad when he finds out that Damon hasn't invoked the sire bond on Elena. I know, but also invoked sounds like you started it. Shouldn't it be revoked? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, she's already sire bonded, bro. But then Damon does start telling him what to do, and he says, I'm setting you free, Elena. This is what oh, I want. Oh, I get it. Yeah, it's invoke the sire bond because he needs to use the sire bond to mm. tell her to leave. He needs to invoke to revoke. That's right. I'm like, why did I saying invoke? But that's, <clears> I get it now. <throat> That's a way. Caroline. <laughs> <laughs> ba, ba, ba. And Stefan are at the mansion. Elena's mansion. Former Elena's mansion. Mm-hmm. Stefan is chill, but feels guilty about Klaus getting slaughtered. But Klaus didn't get slaughtered. But mm-hmm. Stefan's like, oh, Klaus got slaughtered. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's probably better for Stefan that the 12 hybrids, hybrids are dead because hybrids can kill vampires. And the only cure to, to that is Klaus's blood. So, like, uh, you kind of need Klaus. What makes us better than Klaus? We've all done horrible things. Hmm? But we have family we can trust. Trust is everything. So they're like, <laughs> we're, we're, we've all killed hundreds of people. Well, at least Stefan. Stefan and mm-hmm. Klaus have both killed hundreds of people, but Stefan's like... But I have friends. So I'm better. <laughs> and Stefan, like, makes his sister gray and veiny, so I'm better than him. Yeah. I think that that should just make him feel more sad for Klaus. Like, oh, man, at least I have family and friends to, like, yeah. keep me in check. Not Klaus like, doesn't even have family and friends. Yeah, so we should feel more sad about yeah. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we should, like, be like, Klaus, you don't have to do all this, bro. Yeah, you can be our friend. That's what I always tell the kids. You, you need to befriend the bullies because that's what they really need. Mm-hmm. Because the bullies are stabbing daggers into their sisters. I also tell kids that other kids aren't bullies because they're too young to be bullies. That they just are bullying, mm-hmm. but not to like label a little kid as a bully. That's not fair. Yeah, don't define these children. Nah, they're too little. All right, have you heard from Damon? He's from Jeremy at the Lake House. What about Elena? They're together. What? <laughs> How? How together? Together are they? <laughs> Sad song begins. <laughs> there asked, like, are certain people. <laughs> Just kidding, not the phrase. He asks, I know, I feel like the phrase is the song of the show. Yeah. But um, he asks like 18 times about how together are they. <clears throat> They're together, aren't they? How together are they? How together? How together? Jeremy, Caroline says nothing. <laughs> Jeremy is thanking Bonnie. Elena says... Because Bonnie was the warm, the warm and fuzzy. Who smooches? Jeremy and Bonnie would be smooching? Or Elena and I Jeremy I, smooch? No, Elena said she's ready to leave hugging. Damon and they smooch. Okay, Stefan knocks over a, over a chess piece dramatically, <laughs> then throws the board. If you're going to knock over the chess piece, do one or the other. Yeah. <clears throat> knock over the chess piece and be like, the king or the queen is dead. Yeah, just like the single, like, pfft. Or throw the whole thing. Agreed. Don't put down one and then. Yeah, he's like, that wasn't enough. <laughs> I said, uh-oh, he looks like he's going to be doing some ripping. Right, right. Ty finds all the dead hybrids. Yeah, that, that... Oh, my voice cracked. That's sad for Ty. April is hiding in the uncle basement like WTH. Also, when all the hybrids are dead, aren't you a little bit sad? Like, they went through all that pain to be unsigned <coughs> to just be, like, killed pretty much right after. Yeah. Metaphor for life, though. <laughs> <laughs> no one can tell that you're being sarcastic right now but me. Uh... Isn't it, it sad? Mm, I don't care about them. They had to break their bones over and over and over again, like hundreds of times, to so then just be like, uh, I'm going to chop your head off with a sword. Yeah. That stinks. Yeah, it's a bummer. 
But the weird thing about them is that they're werewolves, which means that they all killed someone by accident to invoke the werewolf curse. Oh, yeah. Once so they they're got... all murderers also. <laughs> right. Which is but also they, weird and, to think about. Which, and they don't have friends or family. Mm-hmm. So we should feel sorry for them. Right. <laughs> Even though they did And Ty things. is their alpha. That's true. These are facts. April opens the coffin and Vaney, Rebecca's in there. Yeah. Re- a- Rebecca's still getting a paycheck. Right. April ran away into the basement and is finding out more <laughs> weird stuff. Mm-hmm. She went to the wrong place. Oh, I just mm-hmm. heard some weird stuff. I'm going to go to a more creepy place. Right. Instead of being like, yeah, let me go home to my room. Or I'm Which, safe. who is she even living with? I don't know, actually. She might have said early on, but I don't remember. She got emancipated. She's like, I have a cute apartment. It's above the grills. It, that might be true because she did say, like, now I don't have to go to this private school. I'm going to go to your school. Mm-hmm. She's got, like, a studio. I don't know. Teenagers just be living alone on this show. Mm-hmm. Matt? Matt, yeah. Caroline and Jeremy. I mean, um, <laughs> Caroline and Jeremy. <laughs> Helena and Jeremy for a long time. A lark was in and out, but, you know, they mm-hmm. were alone. All right. Mayor Lockwood needs a ride home. Yeah, Tyler told her. Oh, I don't know if you said the scene where Tyler told her, hey, Mom, or maybe called her on the phone, hey, I'm not going to put myself in concrete. I'm going to be a real boy, so mm-hmm. um, I'll see you later. I'll pick you up. Th- there was that scene, and then she calls him now at this part. You better co- you better call Ty Lur. Not Tyrone. Mm Mm-hmm. Or not, because he doesn't come. Klaus (laughs) walks up. He's looking for Ty also. And uh, she says, don't hurt him. Hammer, don't hurt him. He's my son. You're all he has. Klaus puts her face in the fountain. And does he kill her? We'll see. Next step. Wow. Cliffhanger. Fountain hanger. Mm-hmm. All right, we're gonna do if, one. We're gonna do you. one more reels. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Drink. All right, what's your fang? <clears throat> um, I'm gonna say one fang <laughs> because of the one thing that I'm on the cusp of, and minus one for the things that I'm confused about. <laughs> okay. Um, there was a lot going on in this app, and I do feel like it was a little bit confusing, and. A lot of chitter chatter. Mm-hmm. Plus, Caroline says slut. Mm. So I'm gonna give it a 1.5. Wow. So you got you get you like the slut. Part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Gave it a plus five for the slut. Yeah. Just kidding. Ash, all my Pete dictions were sprinkled. You did try, yeah. Betwixt the. the uh, Nothing else you're thinking. The of? sentences of this episode. <clears throat> I'll have to keep watching. Yeah. I'm excited for episode 10. How many are in this uh, season? I believe it's always 22. Oh. We'll see. I don't know. Ash, if you want to hear an epic rap. (laughs) Two raps. Go listen to uh, Totally Beverages and Sometimes Hot Sauce. Mm Mm-hmm. The Char Man episode. <laughs> Don't go to um, totally Pokemon and sometimes Digimon <laughs> and listen to the Charmander episode. <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> go to the other thing I said. All right. Um, <laughs> at High Dive Publishing and watch the reels. <laughs> All right. Pete is a funny guy. You should follow him and read his stuff and... Just, he will keep entertaining you. <laughs> My phone died just now. Oh, man. Wow, good timing. So, uh, I don't even know how to end this. Oh, bye.